Unreason people are convinced Ivanka Trump is begging for an invite to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's wedding. T seems like the entire world is waiting with bated breath to see Meghan Markle and Prince Harry tie the knot on May 19, 2018. Kensington Palace has already released a few details about the royal couple's impending nuptials. We know that it will take place at Street George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Prince George and Princess Charlotte will be in the wedding, and Markle reportedly wants her mother Doria Radlin to walk her down the aisle. However, Kensington Palace is keeping the couple's wedding guest list under wraps. Though both the actress and her prince are playing coy about who they will be inviting to their celebratory day of love, it looks like President Donald Trump's daughter, Ivanka Trump, is trying to weasel her way into an invite. Here is the one reason people are convinced the complicit first daughter is begging for an invite to the wedding of the year. 800 lucky guests. Along with the royal family, Britain's Prime Minister Theresa May and other fancy folks, Markle and Prince Harry also have friends in Hollywood, including tennis legend Serena Williams and actress Priyanka Chopra. Street. George's Chapel holds approximately 800 guests. So the modern royal couple has quite a bit of work set out for them when it comes to picking their gift list. We just hope J. K. Rowling gets an invite for the culture. The Obama question. During President Barack Obama's administration, Prince Harry and the rest of the royal family became very close to the former president and his wife, Michelle Obama. In fact, the royals and the former first family have remained so close that President Obama and the prince recently did an adorable BBC interview together. The radio for host explicitly asked Prince Harry if the Obamas would be invited to his wedding, and he diplomatically sidestepped the question saying that the guest list hadn't been finalized yet. The Trump problem. Though it might seem obvious that the Obamas received a wedding invitation, nothing is quite so straightforward in politics, especially when the Trumps are involved. The thin skin and childish President Donald Trump is known for his outlandish outbursts, threats, and fits, so the British Foreign Office fears the worst if Prince Harry and Markle decide to invite the Obamas. President Trump obviously won't be getting an invitation from the progressive prince and his feminist fiancé, but if he sees the Obamas in the presence of Queen Elizabeth at such an intimate setting, surely his head will explode. After all, Trump hates the former president with everything in his being desperate times. Not being well-liked isn't stopping the Trumps for trying to get on Prince Harry and Markle's radar, at least it's not stopping Ivanka Trump. The first daughter sent out a strange, three weeks delayed congratulations to the couple which made many people think she was fishing for an invite to their wedding. She tweeted, wishing Meghan and Prince Harry a lifetime of love, laughter, and happiness together. I have no doubt that this couple will do extraordinary things both individually and collectively. Congratulations! One Twitter user eloquently responded, You know this won't get you invited to the wedding, right? Fallen idols! Ivanka Trump might have been able to garner a wedding invite if she'd stood up against her father and his horrible sexist and racist policies. Unfortunately, the Wharton grad has failed to do anything at all, which has caused her friends and admirers. Markle herself used to respect the mother of three greatly, in 2014, the Suits alum wrote a gushing blog post on her now shuttered site, The Tick. She said, We're just going to take a wild guess and assume the women never sat down for drinks and that Markle wishes she never wrote those words. A Trump-free zone. In fact, during election season, Markle was very vocal about her disdain for Trump. During an appearance on the nightly show with Larry Wilmore in May 2016, she said, it looks like Markle made good on her word to skip town. Taking the high road. As it turns out, Markle and Prince Harry might not even have to worry about the Trumps ruining their special day with their though well wishes and fake nuclear buttons. It's always up to the Obamas to take the high road.